Hello, Music Tech Class. Uh, we're back again for another wonderful installment of a Rahali lesson here. Um, for this project, we're going to be going to uh, be working with audio files and splitting them and manipulating different words uh, specifically with our audio files. So you're going to go over to the project page and go to Project 3. And here, We'll have all the different procedures and timelines of what we need to do. So we already talked about it in class of um, the whole point of the project. Uh, you've seen the different mashups of the Obama speeches and where they take certain words and mash them together to make a totally different meaning. You're going to be doing that with your own audio samples of speeches that you find and uh, making up new unique sentences out of them. And it's not necessarily going to be auto-tuned or anything like that, but we're just going to go with the idea that we're going to be utilizing the split and stretching or flex mode in GarageBand. Um, so at the bottom here I have the free sounds and audio samples. Uh, these are great resources that you can find free audio clips. Uh, freesounds.org, the noiseaddicts.com has a lot of good stuff, Sound Bible, and the one with just really good speeches is the archive.org website. Um, so the archive.org, I want to show you that real quick. Uh, greatest speeches. And you go through and just kind of sample some of these. Uh, let's look at uh, Lyndon B. Johnson. I do not believe that I should devote an hour or a day of my time. Maybe you want to use the words my time afterwards. So, okay, so you have number eight, address to the nation. So you go down here at the bottom of the page. We're going to look at the MP3 for it with the 128 kilobytes and address to the nation right after the Democratic Convention one. And you click the download button. I do not believe. And if you're in Chrome, it'll open up its own little window. You can right click or control click and then you can save save as and you send it to your des desktop and it'll save it as a, an mp3 file I do not believe simple enough right uh, if you're in the list mode too you can click um, control click it and then do save link as and that's the same thing. If you're in Safari, it might look a little bit different, or Firefox, but you get the idea for how to get those off there. So it's kind of a little bit hidden on the bottom here. Um, so in the project folder, I have the audio clips sentences page, and I just have a, two different audio clips that we were going to be dealing with, and we, um, we're going to be using GarageBand for this one. And the best thing to do is let's open up GarageBand, and I'm going to show you how to manipulate some of these uh, audio clips. So you're going to do an empty project. We'll choose that. And we're going to go with recording using microphone or line input. Uh, so we don't have to, we're not using loops or anything for this project. Okay, so the first thing that comes up is audio. On here, I'm going to just hide the library. So that's hidden. And I want to do a big thing about housekeeping with some of your projects here, the best thing to do is complete a project in an efficient manner. And when you're just throwing files all over the place, it's not too efficient. Um, so I want to show you at least the way I think that is a very efficient way. If you have another way, you have to <laughs> definitely prove that it's more efficient than this one to actually go with it rather than just throwing files everywhere. Um, so if you go up to this first audio track, we're going to do Command D and duplicate it. So we have now two audio tracks. And let's rename this first one main sentence. And then this second track is always going to be the one that we're uh, finding different clips and um, just manipulating things. And if you want to keep all of your audio files in a new one and just create a new track for each time, so it would be, that's fine with me. Um, but for all our intents and purposes, you just use two tracks, that's fine. So you have the main sentence where you're going to be throwing your individual words up here and then this other track where you're going to be editing out certain words. So you need to go to the um, audio clips section here, and then I'm just going to be using these two, like I said. When you're downloading your own greatest speeches or speeches from other websites or sound files, you definitely want to be going to and just save them to your desktop just for the easy sake, 
and then you're going to throw them in your own audio samples folder that you have in your Project 3 uh, folder system. Uh, so you're going to save all those in one little spot so you can collect them and just in case you need another word out of that, go for it. Um, so let's go with our first one here and I'm going to use the first sample. We'll throw that right in our first track here. All right, so let me take a li listen to it. This is no simple reform. It really is a revolution. All right, so let's use the words a revolution. Up top, we have our zoom feature. We can zoom in and out. Uh, if you look closely, this is the of or a revolution, those two words, a revolution. Uh, so if you double click on the sound fi wave files, you get the um, edit mode down here at the bottom and again on the top right hand corner there's a zoom function so this little space tracker is just like it is up top uh, so wherever you move down here it's going to go there so let's look a revolution so it's somewhere around here and if you notice remember for our first project that we did we used that whole uh, loop region thing uh, when we were trying to figure out different loops that we wanted to add uh, but we don't want to keep present space all the time but if you double click or long click up top, you get the repeat region area. Uh, and this one, I'm just going to keep fine tuning it. So press the space bar. A revolution. A revolution. A rev I don't want all that dead space afterwards, so I'm going to move this over. A revolution. A revolution. But you also don't want to clip it too close to here, or else you're actually going to delete some of the last bit of the consonant revolution. And, uh, so you want to keep as much as we can with it here. Um, a revolution. So there's a, re a revolution. Now with this, um, the first thing you'll be doing is using the split command tool. So if you don't know how to split, you can go up to the top here, edit um, split regions at playhead. But I just like to use the shortcuts because it makes your life a whole lot easier, and that's command T. So now if you notice, it just puts a big scissor clipping right through it, boom. And let's go to the end of it, and Command T again. Now we got a small little section that we can pull out. Um, so let me go up top here. Oh, another thing to, too about the split region. If you're up top and you have the another track highlighted, and you're trying to split something, it just won't work. I'm pressing Command T right now, and nothing's working because there's nothing there to actually split. You have to have your selected track uh, highlighted, and then you can do any kind of splitting that you want. And I can just cut this up as much there. Um, so I have my. I think this is the a revolution. A revolution. Yep. So let's pull this top up top, and we're gonna keep it here. And since we are using a type of uh, editing that is non-destructive. If I wanted to, I can go up top and move this over out and get the rest of it. Um, so GarageBand uses non-destructive editing where it keeps all of the original sound files as is. And then when it makes your new project and you're mixing and things and editing things, you're actually not touching your original audio files. You're creating new audio files that are um, going to be eventually bounced to a new AIF file, MP3 file, and that is the thing that's being created. So it's not your original audio. That's all contained in your original project files. So that's why GarageBand projects or even Logic projects can get very large because it's doing non-destructive editing. So I'm going to just delete these other ones down here because I don't really need them. But if you want, you can go through and listen for other specific Interior words. groups and into the cheap labor on which this system still depends. So if I use the word depends later on, I can do that. Um, but I don't need that for now. So let me go back to my desktop over here, and I'm going to throw in number two. Books. Oops, let's go down here. Times it appears that we're reaching... Oh, and then uh, you heard a revolution happen while I was listening to this. Let's mute that, or you can solo this bottom one. It doesn't matter. Um, but... It appears that we're reaching a period when our senses and our minds will no longer respond to sometimes it appears that we're reaching a period when our senses and our minds will no longer respond to moderate stimulation 
So let's find... Sometimes it appears that we're reaching a... We're reaching a... Let's go for that word. We're reaching a... So down here... I need that we're reaching a... It's around this area, so I can even use my repeat. That we're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching, we're... And this is a little bit too long. We're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching, we're... And I want to get a little bit more specific, so I'm actually going to zoom in a little bit more. We're reaching, we're re So that's about where... And it's, if you look at the wave picture down there, it's about right. It's it's right before the word were. We're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching, we're re reach. I want reaching. We're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching. Reaching. We're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching, we're re And that's really cool. I want to show you this flex or stretch editor over here. Um, this is up top. You click this purple, looks like a DNA strand almost. You click that, and now you're in this flex mode, and um, you can move things around. We're reaching. We're reaching. So the word ing, uh, reaching. The word reaching has the ing sound, but it's not very long. So let's create that a little bit longer. We're reaching. 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 Oh, that was the wrong one. Reaching is down at the end here. We're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching. And I notice now I can move this over a little bit more. We're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching. So it's a little bit better with the ing. We're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching. Okay, I can probably move a little bit more this flex time out. We're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching. Aha, that's better. Reaching. Uh, maybe a little bit more. We're reaching, we're reaching, we're reaching, we're... We're reaching, we're reaching, we're... There we go, and I got that little that pop out of there too by stretching out the reaching. So let's go back over here and use, remember, our command T function to split. I even have my track highlighted, so it should split this correctly. Let's go down to the end over here. Command T split. Now I got this and let's just put this up top. Unselect my repeat region and now let's mute this side and unmute the top. So now we're going to try to figure out how to put these a little bit together. We're reaching a revolution. So you hear how it's uh, obviously a pause in there. I want to assemble these a little bit better and I'm going to clip this so it's not so much of a pause. We're reaching a revolution. And the ends have a little bit clip in it. Uh, you can go through and zoom in a lot. And let's look at some of the automation that we can do. And doo -doo 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 -doo. let's go with yeah, the volume. And if we put Back to zero here. We're reaching a revolution. It's a little bit better. I bet you I can make it even softer there. Let's go with this. We're reaching a revolution. Aha, the pop's gone. So you can work with this automation stuff too. And if you want to put more of silence in there, this whole copy and paste thing would be great too. Because look at this. If I go over to the end of this, there's a, or even the beginning of this, and I want to mess around with some of the silence here. Let me split that. I can even copy this section right here. Copy it. Let's add some oops. Silence. We're reaching a revolution. So it gives it more of a um, definitely a linear or connected sound to it rather than just reaching a revolution, like really short and stuttery. Um, so go through and use this flex time or stretch time, I think it calls it. Yeah, flex. And um, that would definitely help create some more consonants or syllables if the 
uh, stresses or are in the wrong parts of the words that you're trying to put a sentence together. And once you have one sentence out of here, you can delete all these other things right there. You can delete it and then say your whole sentence is up top. Um, definitely save it. I never even saved this project. Uh-oh, bad me. We're going to do save as. That's the first thing we should actually do. I'm going to just save it to my desktop because it'll be easier to throw my Google Drive. Project, project three, uh, sentences um, one. Because then I'll make project three, sentences two, project three, sentences three, because you're required to do three sentences for this. And um, once we have all this stuff, I'll need to see that editor down here. Um, once you have this, you're going to again, you're going to share it and export song to disk, and then you're going to do it to a AIFF. We're going to do CD quality, and we can export it to the desktop, and then you're going to upload that to SoundCloud. And when you upload it to SoundCloud, um, you, you're going to put your transcript for the project in there, and you're going to save it as. Um, your one submission and your in submission on Schoology is going to have a new document and then it'll have SoundCloud link one there and you'll have the sentence transcript underneath that then you in that same document you're going to put SoundCloud link two and then the transcript for that in the same document as well SoundCloud link three and um, the transcript for link three so if you have any questions at any point uh, just raise your hand. I'll be around to help you guys out. But uh, have some fun with this and see if you can create some interesting or odd sentences. Uh, we can probably get some good laughs out of some of these, especially with um, some of the famous voices that we have going on. Uh, so again, if you need any help, just raise your hand and I'll be around.